Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm here to talk to you about the Sherpa jacket. I'm wearing one. This is actually made by Lee Jeans, and they're one of the classic makers of this, I would say, pretty darn classic piece of menswear. And I know this because I had one of these as a kid. Now, really quick, I want to thank Lee Jeans. They made this video possible, and I am wearing their modern series jeans. So these are really nice jeans that you can pick up at department stores across the United States and the world at a fair price. Good jeans. Go check them out. Okay, the Sherpa jacket. Now, why do they call this thing the Sherpa jacket? You may notice this fuzzy, what looks like they'd be like lamb's wool lining. This is why this is called a Sherpa jacket. It's the inside lining which defines the Sherpa jacket. So more than the outside, because the outside, even though the jean, the jean uh, denim material is a classic outer material, this could come in leather, this could come in another type of uh, woven cotton uh, in many different colors. So you'll see Sherpa jackets in, in beige, you'll see them in tan, you'll see them in dark brown, and you will see them in variations of different uh, washes of denim. Now, for this purpose, we're going to use the denim examples, but I want you guys to be aware that it's all about the lining. It's really the lining that defines it. So let's start there. Did Sherpas start wearing this and that's where we get it from? Uh, that, that would actually sound pretty cool, but it's actually an industry term that is used basically to describe the, the weave of the typical polyester. We're not going to seek, rarely will you see cotton here. Usually this is going to be a polyester uh, type of lining. And I know some of you guys are cringing because you're like, ah, you know, man made fibers. I want to stay away from them. these. Actually, do a pretty good job of insulating. Now, that, that's key point. This isn't uh, weatherproof. And in fact, it really depends on the outer shell. If it's going to be windproof, it's going to be waterproof. The inner lining, though, this is all about trapping in heat and keeping you warm. So this one does a good job. I would wear this to about below, you know, with, with a t-shirt on underneath. You could probably wear this into the, you know, lower 30s and be okay. Past that, I'm going to recommend you definitely have on something underneath, another uh, warming layer, perhaps a fleece. But, uh, but no, this does a good job. And a lot of this is defined as to how much heat it's going to retain based off the outer. If you actually hit leather, it does a better job than, uh, than any type of denim. Denim, wind will be able to break through this at some point. Uh, I would say anything past probably 15 to 20 mile an hour winds, you're going to definitely want to uh, look at uh, having either something windproof on top of this. But for casual wear, especially for work wear, denim is really nice. And this is one of the reasons that this is a classic piece. So I can remember I grew up on, on a ranch as a kid and it was one of those things we had horses, we had a lot of animals. I'm always out there feeding the animals. The great thing about denim is that you can rub it up against, I mean, you can just be really rough with the material and you can get, basically you could get, literally you can get crap on this and you can throw it in the washer. It'll be perfectly fine. And that's one of the strengths, especially of, uh, of the denim out, outer uh, outer is that the denim outer shell can be thrown into the wash. You can clean it, and it's it's ready for you the next day. Also, the the, the synthetic inner lining can be washed hundreds of times, and it will eventually fall apart. But another great thing about mixing the cotton with and a synthetic inner lining is that usually the price is really nice. So you can find these at about $70, $50 on sale, some, and even below that if you find some really good sales. So the good part, again, durability. It's a classic piece. Now let's talk quickly about styling. What are you going to see the different styles? Okay, so I've already talked about the different outer shells that you can find out there. But we're also going to see variations in how it's put together. So this one right here uses buttons. And buttons are great for, you know, some, some of you guys like buttons. If you want a zipper, there are other brands out there that have zippers that go up and down. Some are going to have a variation of both. Uh, we're also going to see placements and size of the pockets. So here are the front two pockets. They're functional, very useful pockets. In addition, we've got the hand warmer pockets on the side. Not always going to be lined. Uh, we're also going to see variations in the length of the uh, of the part of basically the Sherpa jacket. So some Sherpa jackets, and again, it's going to be more of a Sherpa coat once it starts to go down beyond the buttocks uh, and start to cover some of your lower uh, 
lower crotch area, but most of these are going to be jackets. And what do we mean by jacket to coat? Okay, a jacket normally is going to end just below the, the waist area. And why this is important, jackets give you a bit more freedom of movement. So if you're actually going to use this for work, you want a jacket because you want to be able to button it up and be able to fully move bend over and not be constrained by you know the coat basically getting caught. Also, if you're getting in and out of a vehicle, out of a work truck, you want to be able to move in and out really easily and a jacket is what you're going to be looking for. So we've talked about the function, we've talked about it's actually at a very good price point. We've talked about some of the style options. Now I've got a video, I'm sorry, an article which goes into a lot more detail. I advise you to go check it out, go into talk a lot more about this. I also link over to Lee Jeans so you can see this jacket and grab it if you'd like to. But uh, that is it, gentlemen. I will see you in the next video and I would love to hear from you in the comments if any of you guys have ever owned this jacket and what you use it for. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.